Project Guy has got another video here for you on a simple way to find and remove duplicate files to free up space on your hard drive. Now, if you're running out of space and you know you have duplicate files on your computer, then I'm going to show you a really simple way of removing those duplicate files and to free up that precious space that you may need to claw back. And it's called CCleaner. Now, CCleaner has been around for a long time, but there is a, a tool built into CCleaner which you can use to remove duplicate files. And I'll show you how to do it in this video. So head over to the link and download the free version of CCleaner. Now CCleaner does have a bunch of other tools that you can use to clean tepi files and other things like that. So if you find it useful, then you can continue to use CCleaner. Or if you don't need it after you've uh, removed duplicate files, you can uninstall it. It's entirely up to you. So let's go ahead and get this installed on the system. And I'll show you how to remove duplicate files using CCleaner. So I'm going to go ahead and get this installed on the system. You can check customize if you want to. There's not much in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the back button and click install. So let's go ahead and get this installed on the system. And I'll show you how it works. So let's go ahead and click run CCleaner right now. And we can then see how to use this to remove duplicate files. So this is what you're going to be presented with when the program is open. I'm going to go to the tool section because that's where the tool is located and go to duplicate finder. Inside here, you're going to see search for duplicate files, name, size, uh, modified date, and also content. You can also put ticks in these boxes here and you can do a, a size under or size over. If you want to, you can choose the drive to which you want to do a check on. I'm going to use the uh, E drive here, and it's going to search for all files with the star dot star. You can include and exclude certain folders if you wish. And then once you're uh, happy with your choice, you can click on search. And this will then search that drive for duplicate files and folders. And as you can see on this drive here, we have quite a few duplicate files. Uh, and what you can do here is remove these from your computer. Now, there's not much point in having uh, duplicate files on the same drive. It's okay having duplicate files if you've got um, multiple backups of those files, but having them on one drive is a bit pointless because what that's going to do is take up space. So you can see they're all listed here, and I've got this on uh, a duplicate location on one drive, which is not much good because, as I've said, it's going to take up a lot of space. On that drive now if you want to check these out what i'd advise you to do is check the locations first to make sure that they are duplicate uh, and that way you're not going to make any sort of mistakes but you can see there's quite a few here and they go all the way down so there's quite a lot of uh, duplicate stuff on this uh drive here so what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, open up the file in its location and i'll cross reference it with the other file so we can see whether there's any sort of difference so let's go ahead and right click here and open containing folder and this will take us to that location but you can see there's a bunch of other stuff on there on the right click context menu but we're just going to go to open containing folder if you open this up you'll see a string of files here i've blurred out some of the other ones here but these ones here we're just going to concentrate on these four here and then what i'll do is i'll open up the other location and see if the files are exactly the same this way we can just cross reference quickly whether they are the same and I'm going to just open up the uh, containing folder here for the other location and lo and behold they are exactly the same so what we can do now is safely remove the duplicate files from that location so you can choose which ones you want to keep and uh, you can remove these uh, from the system I'll show you how to do that right now you can see the files are exactly duplicate same amount of files in that folder not much point having two folders with that amount of data especially videos because they do take up a fair bit of space and these are of my holiday uh, and having duplicate files of me walking around in my budgie smugglers on holiday is not a very nice sight i can tell you and having duplicates of these is not very good so we're going to be removing these from the computer so now we know we have a duplicate folder what you can do is you can either select these one at a time and remove them this way but which will take an absolute age but if you want to do it this way, you can do, or you can basically select all and it will select all of the duplicate files and you can then remove them. It will leave one copy on your computer. So you can see by doing this one at a time here would take quite a long time. So the quicker option is to right click 
and select all. And this will select all of your uh, duplicate files. And it, you can see it's selected all the top ones here. So basically all of these will be removed if I click on delete selected. It's that quick and easy. So I'll quickly show you by just deleting one file here because I want to keep these files uh, and then copy these over to my NAS drive. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll just delete one file here just to show you. So when I delete the selected, it will delete that file and it will go translucent and gray out. So that's basically how you can remove duplicate files with ease using CCleaner free version. As you see, the scan on this tool is pretty quick as well. It done the scan very, very quickly and it identified duplicate files very quickly as well. Let me quickly delete this here. There we go. That's now done. And once we click OK here, that file will be gone. And you can see here it's gone sort of translucent or grayed out here. So we can't click on it. And that's because it's been removed. You can save the file to a text document if you wanted to have a copy of all of the duplicate files. So you can have a look through that way if you want to. And you can see here restore uh, results up the top here as well. And that's basically it for this video. That's basically how you can remove duplicate files and folders from your computer with ease using CCleaner free. Now there is plenty of other software which you can use to do this job, but this seemed to do it very quickly and it was very easy to use. Anyway, I'll leave the link in the video description if you're interested. Also, I've set up a second channel here called Bright Tech Extra. I'm going to be putting some content that doesn't actually fit on my first channel and stick it on here. Let me know in the comment section below what else you would like to see on this channel and I can add it up there. So by all means, hit the subscribe button and show your support by subscribing to this channel and I'll be uploading some content. So let me know what you want to see on this channel and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my people that have been joining my YouTube members page. I really do appreciate the support. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.